hour rally is being held at Acacia Park to call for an independent investigation into the death of Vanessa Guillen. She's the 20 year old soldier who authorities believe was killed by another soldier back in April inside of the armory at Fort Hood, Texas. Now her death prompted protests across the country calling for changes in how the military handles sexual harassment and assault cases. News 5's Mayo Davison tells us what our local organizers want to see changed within the military. What happened to Vanessa Guillen sadly happens a lot. And that's why dozens of demonstrators gathered at Acacia Park to call for change within a system they say protects offenders rather than survivors. Out of 20,000 sexual assaults last year, only 138 reached conviction. With so little convictions, organizers say offenders get little to no jail time or consequences for their actions. They say there needs to be a registry for offenders. If somebody offends in the military, they go out to the civilian world and there's no record that follows them. That needs to stop. The rally's main goal was to bring awareness to this issue and call for a third party outside the chain of command to handle sexual harassment and assault cases. You can't find justice when you're investigating your friends. So within the military, if the people investigating who hurt Vanessa and who buried uh, what was going on to Vanessa, if they're of the same group, how can we expect justice? She says having a third party involved will help protect survivors. With a new bill in Congress aimed to create a third party entity, they want to see additional items added. We're hoping to see mandatory minimums, uh, sentences for, um, for sexual abusers. Uh, we're hoping to see um, a registry. They also want to see rape kits processed faster because the turnaround is inadequate. They say the bill is a step in the right direction, but there also needs to be new training within the military to curb sexual harassment and assault. And that was News 5's Mayo Davison reporting. Organizers say that anyone dealing with sexual harassment can reach out to them via, fa via Facebook. And we also have a list of resources available for you on our website, koaa.com.